In a startling recent announcement, leading climate scientists are warning that Earth may be on the brink of a brand new ice age. This unexpected shift in global climate predictions has sent shockwaves, or shall we say ice waves, through the scientific community and beyond. Today, we'll explore the evidence behind this controversial claim, examine what a new ice age could mean for life on Earth, and investigate how human activity may be influencing these climatic shifts. Join us as we dive into the chilling possibility of a future defined by ice and cold and uncover what steps, if any, can be taken to prepare for this potential global transformation. Keep watching to learn why scientists warn we're on the brink of a new ice age. Understanding Earth's Climate Cycles To grasp the concept of a potential new ice age, we first need to understand Earth's natural climate cycles. Our planet's climate has never been static. It oscillates between warm interglacial periods, like the one we're in now, and cold glacial periods, commonly known as ice ages. These cycles are primarily driven by changes in Earth's orbit and axis, known as Milankovitch cycles. These include changes in the tilt of Earth's rotational axis, changes in the orientation of Earth's elliptical orbit, called the precession of the equinoxes, and changes in the shape of the elliptical orbit. When these factors align to minimize summer sunlight in the Arctic regions, they can trigger the onset of an ice age. However, these astronomical cycles operate on long time scales of tens of thousands of years. Interestingly, within these larger cycles, there are shorter term climate fluctuations. Ice core samples from Greenland and Antarctica reveal chaotic variations with a quasi-period of around 1,500 years. These rapid shifts can occur within decades, causing significant temperature changes. One of the most dramatic examples of these rapid shifts is the Younger Dryas cooling event, which occurred about 12,000 years ago. This event saw temperatures in the North Atlantic region plummet by about 5 degrees Celsius in just a decade, and the cold spell lasted for about 1,000 years. These abrupt climate changes demonstrate that Earth's climate system is capable of rapid and dramatic shifts. As we'll see, it's this potential for abrupt change that makes the prospect of a new ice age particularly concerning in our warming world. The ocean's role in climate regulation. At the heart of the ice age paradox is the crucial role that oceans play in regulating Earth's climate. The world's oceans act as a massive heat distribution system, moving warm water from the equator, towards the poles, and cold water from the poles back towards the equator. This system, known as the Great Ocean Conveyor, or thermohaline circulation, is a key component of global climate regulation. In the North Atlantic, this system manifests as the Gulf Stream, which brings warm water from the Caribbean northward, keeping Western Europe much warmer than it would otherwise be at its latitude. As this warm water reaches high latitudes, it cools and becomes denser. If it becomes dense enough, it sinks to the ocean depths, forming what's known as North Atlantic Deep Water, NADW. This process of water sinking in the North Atlantic is a crucial driver of the global ocean conveyor. It pulls more warm water northward from the tropics, perpetuating the cycle. However, this system is delicately balanced and susceptible to disruption. The density of seawater depends on both its temperature and its salinity. As global temperatures rise, increased melting of Arctic ice and Greenland's glaciers is pouring more fresh water into the North Atlantic. This fresh water is less dense than salt water and can form a layer on the ocean surface, preventing the cooled water from sinking. If enough fresh water enters the North Atlantic, it could potentially halt the formation of NADW, disrupting the Gulf Stream and the broader ocean conveyor system. This disruption could lead to a rapid cooling in the North Atlantic region, potentially triggering a little ice age or even a full-scale ice age. Recent observations have raised alarms about this possibility. Studies have shown that the North Atlantic has been freshening over the past few decades, with salinity decreasing at depths of up to 2,000 meters. At the same time, the outflow of cold water from the Nordic seas, a key component of the ocean conveyor, has decreased by 20% since 1950. These changes suggest that the ocean conveyor may already be slowing down, setting the stage for potential rapid climate change. The Paradox of Warming-Induced Cooling The idea that global warming could trigger an ice age seems paradoxical at first glance. 
However, it's a stark reminder of the complexity of Earth's climate systems and the potential for unexpected consequences as we continue to alter our planet's delicate balance. The mechanism behind this paradox lies in the disruption of ocean currents, particularly the Gulf Stream. As we've discussed, the influx of fresh water from melting ice could weaken or even shut down the Gulf Stream. If this were to happen, the consequences for Europe and North America could be severe. Without the warming influence of the Gulf Stream, average temperatures in the UK and northwestern Europe could drop by 5 degrees Celsius or more. This would bring winters as harsh as those experienced during the Little Ice Age of the 17th to 19th centuries, a period marked by crop failures, famine, and significant societal disruption. But the impacts wouldn't be limited to Europe. The Gulf Stream is part of a global system of ocean currents. Disrupting this system could trigger climate changes worldwide, potentially leading to cooling in some areas and warming in others. It's important to note that not all scientists agree on the likelihood or timing of such a scenario. Some models suggest that while the ocean conveyor will likely weaken due to global warming, a complete shutdown is unlikely in the near future. However, the existence of past abrupt climate changes, like the Younger Dryas event, shows that such rapid shifts are possible. Moreover, our understanding of these complex systems is still evolving. Recent observations of ocean freshening and current weakening have occurred faster than many models predicted, suggesting that we may be underestimating the potential for rapid change. Current Evidence and Scientific Debate The scientific community is actively debating the likelihood and potential timing of a new ice age triggered by global warming. While there's broad consensus that climate change is occurring and that human activities are a major driver, the specific outcomes and timelines are subjects of ongoing research and discussion. Several lines of evidence support the possibility of cooling in the North Atlantic region. Multiple studies have documented a significant freshening of the North Atlantic over the past few decades. This trend is consistent with increased melting of Arctic ice and Greenland's glaciers. Measurements suggest that the deep outflow of cold water from the Nordic seas has decreased by 20% since 1950. This could indicate a slowing of the Gulf Stream, although direct measurements of the Gulf Stream itself are more challenging. Some areas of the North Atlantic have already shown cooling trends, bucking the global warming trend. While it's too early to say if this is definitively linked to changes in ocean circulation, it's consistent with predictions of what would happen if the Gulf Stream weakens. The geological record shows that abrupt climate changes have occurred in the past, often linked to changes in ocean circulation. The Younger Dryas cooling event is a prime example of how quickly climate can change when key thresholds are crossed. However, there are also factors that complicate the picture. Many global climate models don't fully capture the complexities of ocean circulation and mixing. This makes it difficult to predict exactly how the system will respond to warming. We don't know precisely how much freshwater input it would take to significantly disrupt the Gulf Stream or how reversible such changes might be. While weakening ocean circulation might lead to cooling in some areas, this effect competes with the overall warming trend from greenhouse gas emissions. The net effect in different regions is hard to predict. There is significant debate about how quickly these changes could occur. Some researchers suggest it could happen within decades, while others argue it would take centuries. Potential Global Impacts While the immediate effects of a weakened Gulf Stream would be most pronounced in the North Atlantic region, the potential impacts of such a significant climate shift would be global in scale. In Europe and eastern North America, we could see significantly colder winters, shorter growing seasons, and more extreme weather events. This could have severe implications for agriculture, energy demand, and infrastructure designed for our current climate. However, the effects wouldn't be limited to cooling. Disrupting the global ocean conveyor could lead to complex changes in climate patterns worldwide. Some regions might experience increased warming, while others could see changes in precipitation patterns, potentially leading to more frequent droughts or floods. The potential impacts extend beyond just temperature and weather. Changing climate patterns could significantly affect global food production, potentially leading to food insecurity in many regions. Changes in ocean circulation could affect sea level rise, potentially accelerating it in some areas. Ocean circulation plays a crucial role in distributing nutrients. Changes could have profound effects on marine life and fisheries. 
The oceans are a major carbon sink. Altering circulation could affect their ability to absorb carbon dioxide, potentially accelerating atmospheric CO2 increase. The wide-ranging effects on agriculture, energy demand, and coastal infrastructure could have significant economic impacts worldwide. These potential impacts underscore the importance of understanding and monitoring changes in our climate system, as well as the need for robust strategies to mitigate and adapt to climate change. Challenges in Prediction and Monitoring One of the biggest challenges in understanding and predicting potential rapid climate changes lies in the limitations of our current monitoring systems and climate models. Our knowledge of ocean circulation relies heavily on limited data. We don't have a comprehensive system for monitoring the strength of currents like the Gulf Stream in real time. Much of our understanding comes from sporadic measurements and proxy data, which can make it difficult to identify trends and predict changes. Climate models, while increasingly sophisticated, still struggle to fully capture the complexities of ocean-atmosphere interactions. Many models used in climate change assessments, including those referenced by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, don't fully account for the potential of abrupt climate changes triggered by ocean circulation changes. Moreover, the Earth's climate system is incredibly complex, with many feedbacks and tipping points that we don't fully understand. This makes it challenging to predict exactly how the system will respond to the unprecedented rates of change we're currently experiencing. Efforts are underway to improve our monitoring capabilities and refine our models, but significant uncertainties remain. This uncertainty underscores the importance of a precautionary approach to climate change mitigation and adaptation. The Role of Human Activity While natural climate cycles have always existed, the current situation is unique due to the rapid pace of human-induced climate change. The burning of fossil fuels and other human activities have led to a dramatic increase in atmospheric CO2 levels, far outpacing anything seen in the geological record for millions of years. This rapid change is pushing our climate system into uncharted territory, making it difficult to predict outcomes based on past events alone. The melting of Arctic sea ice and the Greenland ice sheet, both accelerated by human-induced warming, are key factors in the potential disruption of North Atlantic currents. As these freshwater sources increase, they could potentially reach a tipping point that triggers abrupt climate change. The speed of these changes is particularly concerning as it may outpace our ability to adapt. Furthermore, human activities have altered other aspects of the Earth system that interact with climate. Deforestation, for example, not only releases stored carbon, but also changes local and regional climate patterns. Ocean acidification, another consequence of increased CO2, could affect marine ecosystems in ways that might influence ocean circulation patterns. Understanding these complex interactions between human activities and natural systems is crucial for predicting and potentially mitigating the risks of abrupt climate change. It also highlights the need for comprehensive approaches to climate change that consider both mitigation of greenhouse gas emissions and adaptation to potential rapid changes. Preparing for an uncertain future Given the potential for abrupt climate change and the uncertainties in our current understanding, how should societies prepare? One approach is to focus on increasing resilience to a range of possible climate scenarios. This could involve diversifying agriculture to be less dependent on specific climate conditions, improving water management systems to handle both droughts and floods, and enhancing energy systems to cope with potential changes in demand patterns. Infrastructure planning needs to consider the possibility of rapid climate change. For example, coastal defenses might need to be designed not just for gradual sea level rise, but for the possibility of more rapid changes. Urban planning might need to consider both hotter summers and the potential for colder winters. On a global scale, improving international cooperation and information sharing is crucial. Climate change impacts won't respect national borders, and a coordinated response will be necessary to address potential large-scale disruptions to food production, migration patterns, and economic systems. Continued investment in climate research and monitoring systems is also essential. Improving our ability to detect early warning signs of abrupt climate change could provide valuable time for adaptation. This includes not only atmospheric and oceanic monitoring, but also observations of ice sheets, permafrost, and other components of the Earth system that could play a role in rapid climate shifts. 
Finally, while preparing for potential cooling in some regions is important, it's crucial to remember that the overall trend of global warming continues. Efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions remain vital to limiting the overall magnitude of climate change and reducing the risk of crossing critical thresholds that could trigger abrupt changes. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the possibility of a new ice age triggered by global warming? Do you think we're doing enough to monitor and prepare for potential rapid climate shifts? Share your views in the comments below.